Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to review the basic operations of your Horizon 6 Flex centrifuge. If you're looking for something specific, look at the bottom of your screen. This video is divided into chapters so you can easily find what you need. Horizon 6 Flex Basic Operations Guide Part 1 Unboxing the Horizon 6 Flex to open your centrifuge box, you'll want a flathead screwdriver to remove the secure packaging. With your box open, you can slide the centrifuge out. Your centrifuge will come with an accessories kit. We'll cover this in detail later. Once you're done unpacking, you should have all of these items. Part 2. Setting up the Horizon 6 Flex Let's start by making sure we have all our necessary accessories. These came out of your accessory kit the small bag packed in with your centrifuge. You'll need your power cord, your tube holders, and your centrifuge. If you're missing anything, please contact Drucker Diagnostics. Start by placing the centrifuge on a flat, level, sturdy surface. Leave at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters on all sides and at least 21 inches or 54 centimeters of height above the lid so that you can easily open it. Locate the power cord that was included in the accessories kit when you unpacked your Horizon 6 Flex. Plug it into the back of your centrifuge and then into the wall. Make sure your outlet is easily accessible so you can unplug your centrifuge for cleaning and maintenance. Locate the power switch on the back of your Horizon 6 Flex. Flip this switch to the on position. With the Horizon 6 Flex plugged in and switched on, its displays will illuminate. Now we're ready to unlock our centrifuge. Your Horizon 6 Flex has a safety lock. The centrifuge will lock whenever the rotor is spinning, 60 seconds after the cycle has finished, and it will be locked when your centrifuge arrives from our factory. To unlock our centrifuge, we'll need to look at our control panel. To unlock the centrifuge, press the Stop Unlock button. If you'd like a more in-depth overview of these controls, a link to a full overview video is on your screen. Now we can twist our lid latch and lift the lid open. You can see our rotor here inside. Your Horizon 6 Flex comes with its rotor installed and ready to run. All we need to do is place our tube holders. You can see the slots all around the rotor. Simply place one blue tube holder in each. When the tube holders are properly seated, you will be able to move them slightly. This is by design. That's what allows them to rise into their horizontal spin position. They do not click or snap into place. Your Horizon 6 Flex has only authentic Drucker parts, including the rotor and tube holders. You should only use authentic Drucker parts in your centrifuge, as anything else may damage your centrifuge or even be dangerous. Now that we have our Horizon 6 Flex set up, we can look at our controls. Part 3, Controls Overview. Your Horizon 6 Flex has all of its controls right here on the front panel. The Start button starts the centrifuge running the currently selected cycle. Menu allows you to save new cycles, edit existing saved cycles, and set things like audible alerts. Stop Unlock stops the centrifuge if it is running. If the centrifuge is not running, pressing Stop Unlock will unlock the centrifuge lid, allowing you to turn the lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise and access the rotor chamber and any samples inside. The arrows next to the display screen cycle through currently saved cycles. If you want to run a different saved cycle from the one currently displayed, simply press the up and down arrows until the desired cycle name shows on the screen. Now that we're familiar with the buttons, let's dive a little deeper and learn how to access the controls for the cycle speed, cycle time, braking, audible alerts, and cycle name adjustment. Press Menu to enter Adjustment Mode. From this screen, you can scroll through several menu options. Pressing Stop Unlock will scroll to the next option. Pressing Start will scroll to the previous option. Pressing Menu again will save all changes made so far and exit. We're going to start with the speed, which is the first setting shown when you enter this menu. Press Stop 
unlock once. The number next to RPM should begin flashing, indicating that setting is currently selected. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust the speed. The current value on the screen will update as you adjust. This screen also displays RCF, which is G-Force, if you prefer to measure by G-Force or XG instead of speed. Once your desired speed is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see a flashing number and the word minutes. This indicates you are now editing time, which is measured in minutes. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust the time. The current value on the screen will update as you adjust. Once your desired time is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see the word breaking and a number or the word off. This indicates you are now editing breaking. The breaking setting controls whether breaking is applied to slow the centrifuge rotor down after it is finished spinning your samples. Break values can be set anywhere from off, no breaking, to 10, maximum breaking. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust the breaking. The current value on the screen will update as you adjust. Once your desired breaking is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see the word beeper and either off or on. This indicates you are now editing beeper which controls the audible alerts on the Horizon 6 Flex. Beeper is a toggle. Audible alerts can either be turned on or turned off. If it is on, the centrifuge will beep at the end of a cycle and beep when buttons are being pressed. If it is off, the centrifuge will not have any audible alerts at all. Beeper is a universal setting. Audible alerts are either on or off for all cycles. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to toggle the audible alert setting on or off. The screen will show this status, on or off, and update dynamically as you adjust it. The centrifuge will run with the selected audible alert setting until that setting is changed. Since it's a toggle, switch it back using the same process we just discussed but make sure it's either on or off as desired. Once your desired audible alert is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see the name of the cycle displayed. This indicates that you are editing that cycle name. Name is edited character by character. Your currently selected character is indicated by the letter flashing or by a flashing rectangle if blank. Use the Start and Stop Unlock button to move between different characters in the name. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust each character as desired. Once your name is as desired, press Menu to save all your changes and exit. Your centrifuge will automatically select the cycle you just finished editing and queue it up to run. And those are your controls. Now let's look at how to load your Horizon 6 Flex and spin your first samples. Part 4, Spinning Samples. When loading the Horizon 6 Flex or any centrifuge, it is important to make sure you load the samples in a way that keeps the rotor balanced. Loading balanced samples helps keep the lab safe and ensures the maximum lifespan of your centrifuge. Step 1, make sure that all six tube holders are properly seated in the Horizon 6 Flex rotor. They do not snap into place, but should be seated one per slot in the rotor. Step two, load your samples. When loading your samples, opposing tube holders must be of equal weight, as shown in the diagram on your screen. So, if we're loading two tubes, just put them across from each other. If it's three, make a triangle, four, a square, and so on. If you're spinning an odd number of tubes, you'll need a counterbalance tube. This should be an identical tube filled with an equivalent volume of water from the tube across from it. The counterbalance should be roughly the same weight as your filled tube. With your tube holders in place and your samples loaded and balanced, you're ready to spin. Close the lid. Secure the lid latch by pressing it down gently and turning it a quarter turn counterclockwise. Next, adjust your settings. 
select your desired cycle, and press the menu button. Use Stop Unlock to cycle between speed, time, and braking values. Adjust using the up and down arrows. For a more detailed guide, click the link on your screen. In our case, we're going to run at 1000 RPM for three minutes with braking nine, but you can run whatever setting you like. Once you're done programming, double check your settings and press menu to save and exit. Your centrifuge will automatically select the cycle you just edited. Next, press the start button. The centrifuge will automatically lock and the rotor will begin to spin, accelerating until it reaches your selected RPM. It will run for your chosen time. You can see time remaining and speed, alternating between RPMs and RCF XG, displayed on the screen. Once the run is complete, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, applying the rotor brake at the level you selected. When the rotor is fully stopped, the centrifuge will beep and the lid lights will flash to let you know it's done. The centrifuge will automatically unlock. Turn the lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise and then lift the lid to retrieve your spun samples. And that's all there is to it. You just ran your first cycle. Now let's look at how you should clean and maintain your Horizon 6 Flex. Part 5, Cleaning and Maintenance. Your Horizon 6 Flex requires no regular maintenance. Cleaning is easy too. Start by turning your Horizon 6 Flex off. Then unplug it from the wall. Your centrifuge should always be off and unplugged before you do any kind of cleaning. Make sure to wear appropriate PPE in accordance with your lab's policies. Use isopropyl alcohol or 10% 5500 ppm bleach solution to clean. Only the approved isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution should be used. Any other substance is not approved and may cause damage to your centrifuge and void the warranty. Apply your isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution with a cloth. Do not submerge the centrifuge in water. Dry your Horizon 6 Flex immediately after finishing cleaning and disinfecting, and be sure it's plugged in and turned on so it's ready for the next use. Your Horizon 6 Flex does not require any regular maintenance, but you may wish to confirm the spin speed. To do that, you'll need your facility's calibrated photo tachometer. Ours is shown here for reference. Your rotor has a reflective strip on it so the photo tachometer can easily detect the speed. Just start the cycle you wish to test, wait a minute or two for it to reach its peak speed, and point your photo tachometer down through the clear lid. You'll quickly get a reading. And that brings us to the end of our basic operations guide for the Horizon 6 Flex. We unboxed and set up our centrifuge, we reviewed its accessories and its controls, we spun our first cycle, and we learned how to properly clean and maintain it. If you have any questions about your Horizon 6 Flex, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.